There's now a new exhibit at One Lancaster County Museum, and it opens today. Fox 43's Andrea Michaels is in Columbia with a sneak peek. Good morning. We're at the Watch and Clock Museum this morning over in Columbia. The On the Clock exhibit begins today. Some really exciting stuff. And here to talk to me about that is museum curator Kim, and she's going to kind of explain, I guess, the overall general idea behind this particular exhibit. Well, we got the time recorders from a gentleman named Edward Watkins. He was the uh, heir to the Simplex time recording company. Um, company and uh, we decided that we wanted to use them to highlight the importance of the labor movement in the United States so we that's kind of the idea behind the exhibit and there's a lot of time to cover on this I realize that obviously between ooh, a little bit of dinging in the background <laughs> too that's how we know that they're working but um, there's obviously they were keeping, we were talking about this earlier, keeping records with paper and pen first, but then the first actual, when did the first actual way to mechanically uh, display this occur? Well, the first uh, mechanical time recorder was around 1888. Uh, Edward Watkins' grandfather, great-grandfather, actually designed it and developed it. Uh, he never actually patented it until later. Um, but yeah, this first one came around about 1988. 1888, I'm sorry, oh, 1888. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that uh, makes it a little bit longer in time, but obviously through the course of time, there has been a lot of evolution in the way the technology has worked, but coming up during the 7 and the 8 o'clock hour, we'll take a look at some of the pieces from way back when and give you an idea and a feel for how it was back in the day, 1888. But for now, we are here in Columbia. I'm Andrea Michaels of Fox 43 WPMT. A Lancaster County Museum has a new exhibit and it opens today. Fox 43's Andrea Michaels is in Columbia with a sneak peek. Good morning. We're here at the Watch and Clock Museum over in Columbia this morning where a new exhibit is being launched today. The On the Clock exhibit, which just takes you through the years of how punching in and time clocking, so to speak, has kind of evolved over the years and it's been a very long time and here mm -hmm. to talk to me about that this morning is Kim Giovanelli. She's the museum curator. Kim, uh, we're going to take a look at some of the earliest pieces. Now I realize one of the first ones made didn't quite make it out to the public, but there was the one after that, a patent that finally did. So why don't we break down those two to start off? Sure. Uh, we have the Haywood time recorder, which is actually behind uh, over there. Um, it's. Um, from 1888, and it was the first uh, patented by Edward Watkins. Um, mentioned him earlier, and uh, the heir to the Simplex, or the creator of the Simplex Time Recording Company. Um, it actually did not go over too well. You would need about 100 of them for one department. Um, it didn't have a bell. It couldn't tell the time to the employees, so they couldn't know what time that they were clocking in. So he never actually patented it. But the one next to it uh, later, he patented and it worked so much better. Um, it had a bell, it could tell the time, people knew what time they were coming in. Um, it was just so much easier to use and that's why he called it a simplex, because it was simple. And over the years or the decades as the technology evolved and I mean we remember from history classes back in the day during high school when we learned about the labor movement everything was not the best of working conditions basically <laughs> so over time i mean these pieces as they evolved started to become a little bit more associated with i guess more of a negative vibe is that correct correct yes they started to take on a, a as a symbol of poor working conditions um, long hours the inability to kind of better yourself as an individual um, and so they were seen kind of as that symbol um, as well. And earlier during our first hit we heard them actually ding and go <laughs> off so you can kind of see how the noise itself just the whole piece itself kind of just got associated with um, mm -hmm. all of those poor conditions as well. Right yeah. All right well thank you so much we're going to talk about some technology as it evolved into today coming up during the 8 o'clock hour but for now we are here in Columbia. I'm Andrea Michaels at Fox 43 WPMT. Well, there's a new exhibit at a Lancaster County Museum and it opens today. That's right. Fox 43's Andrea Michaels is in Columbia with a sneak peek.
Good morning. We're at the Watch and Clock Museum in Columbia, Lancaster County, where the On the Clock exhibit begins today. And it's some really exciting stuff here. And to talk to me about this this morning, we have Kim, the museum curator. Now, Kim, we saw some of the older uh, items and how everything evolved through the ages. Now we're going to take a look at a little bit of the new. And boy, has the technology improved. Where are we at this point in terms of time clocks? Well, right now we're at um, biometrics is the big thing right about now. So using physical properties of the body to clock you in and out. Um, the, uh, retina scans, DNA, facial scans, it's the big thing. It's up and coming. And we were actually gracious, good enough to get a, a biometric time clock from Latham donated to us that we're allowing visitors to try out. And the real nifty thing about this is that it runs off of similar technology to what Facebook uses now to tag your photos, the facial recognition software there. We're going to give it a quick test now, getting up on my stool, nothing unusual there. And what it does is it scans your face, it's going to look at me, and it's going to deny me access because... There it is, denied, I am not allowed. So I have this nifty card that's going to eventually grant me access. So we're going to use that this time around. And there it is, it's scanning me, it's watching me, and then to get my face. And then you have to get it in just the right position. If I move my face correctly, there we go. Yep, accepted. So there we go, some nifty things that you will get to see and learn as time evolves. Certainly the technology has as well this uh, this exhibit is going to be open for quite some time, so be sure to stop by and take a great look at it. You'll learn some neat things. But for now, we are here in Columbia, Lancaster County. I'm Andrea Michaels for Fox 43 WPMT.